Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass. Let us be sorry for our many sins, and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us your own body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise. 
that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you with the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul, called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Sosthenes, our brother, to the church of God that is in Corinth, to you who have been sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be holy, with all those everywhere who call upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, their Lord and ours. Grace to you and please from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge. As the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by Him you are called to fellowship with His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise your name forever, Lord. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Generation after generation praises your works and proclaims your might. They speak of the splendor of our glorious majesty and tell of your wondrous words. I will praise your name forever, Lord. They discourse of the power of your terrible deeds and declare your greatness. They publish the fame of your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your justice. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Please stand. Stay awake, for you do not know when the Son of God will come. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Stay awake, for you do not know on which day your Lord will come. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour of night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So too you must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect, the Son of Man will come. Who then is the faithful and prudent servant whom the, 
whom the master has put in charge of his household to distribute to them their food at the proper time. Blessed is that servant whom his master on his arrival finds doing so. Amen, I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that wicked servant says to himself, My master is long delayed and begins to beat his fellow servants and eat and drink with drunkards, the servant's master will come on an unexpected day at, and at an unknown hour and will punish him severely and assign him a place with the hypocrites where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, waiting is very much part of our human life. Come to think of it, we spend so much of our life in waiting. You were waiting a while ago for this Mass to begin. Now, you are waiting for my homily to end. You are waiting for this Mass to end so that you may continue on with your work. You are waiting for office hour to end so that you may go home. We wait in line. We wait for our turn. We wait in traffic. We wait for the realization of our plans. We wait for the fulfillment of our dreams. We wait for so many things and we spend our life waiting. Our readings today both talk about waiting. In our first reading, we begin reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. St. Paul loves the Christians in Corinth, and we could sense that through the words that he wrote to them. In our first reading, after praising the Corinthians for their great faith in God, St. Paul also tells them that they are not lacking in any spiritual gift as they wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. St. Paul reminds the Corinthians and all of us that our life is a constant waiting for the coming of the Lord. And this is also what Jesus tells us in our gospel today. He reminds us of the importance of staying awake as we wait for the glorious coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We, as believers, wait for the coming of the Lord. But my dear brothers and sisters, it is also good to remind each of us that our attitude while waiting reveals who we really are. Your attitude while you are waiting reveals your true character. Waiting reveals whether we are patient or we are short-tempered. May mga tao na kayang maghintay kahit na matagal. Pero may mga tao na pag pinaghintay 
umiinit agad ang ulo. Maikli ang pasensya. Kapag kayo ba'y naghihintay, mahaba ba ang inyong pasensya? O naiinip agad, umiinit agad ang ulo? Waiting reveals whether we are proud and self-entitled or whether we are humble. May mga tao na ayaw maghintay at sasabihin nila, kilala mo ba kung sino ako? Bakit mo ako paghihintayin? Hindi dapat ako pinaghihintay. May mga tao na ayaw pumila dahil mataas ang tingin sa sarili, kaya hindi dapat ako pipila. Pero may mga tao rin naman na mapagpakumbaba at makikita mo yan sa kanilang kakayanang maghintay na kahit na mataas, maghihintay, pipila. Waiting also reveals whether we are faithful or unfaithful. Kapag tayo'y naghihintay, makikita din tayo ba'y tapat o tayo'y nagtataksil habang tayo'y naghihintay. Yung mga may asawang nagtatrabaho sa ibang bansa, habang hinihintay ninyo ang pag-uwi ng inyong asawa, o yung mga nagtatrabaho sa ibang bansa, habang hinihintay ninyo ang inyong pag-uwi sa inyong pamilya, kayo ba'y nananatiling tapat? O baka hindi nagiging tapat habang naghihintay? Waiting reveals many things about who we are. Your attitude while waiting reveals your true character. It reveals who you are. So my dear brothers and sisters, next time that you find yourself waiting, sa susunod na nasa sitwasyon tayo na naghihintay, kaysa uminit ang ulo, kaysa mainis, let us check what is happening within us. Let us observe our feelings. Ano ba yung nararamdaman ko kapag ako'y naghihintay? Let us check our attitude. And you will be surprised because that will reveal the kind of person that you are. Remember, my dear brothers and sisters, it is not only the ability to wait that is important. Far more important is our attitude while waiting. Please stand. In the gospel, the Lord Jesus has called us to watch for the day of his return. Let us come to the Father in prayer, watching and waiting for his beloved Son. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may not be satisfied with what she has done, but continue to proclaim the gospel of repentance and realize the need for conversion and renewal. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our communities may be fitting places for the building of God's kingdom by our respect, love, and concern for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may always be ready for the coming of God's kingdom by remaining watchful but never fearful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and the dying may seek God's will in their trials and sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
that the faithful departed may be found ready to meet the Lord when they long to see face to face. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, listen to the prayers we have made with sincere hearts. Help us to grow in holiness as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.